Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And to never miss another lecture from Mirko, hit the bell icon to get regular updates on English literature. Hello and welcome to Mirko English Language and Literature Institute. I'm Professor Abha Sharma and again I'm here in front of you to give you the answer details of the recent UGC NET exam was, which was held on 8th of July 2018. You must have already got the key from various sources but I just do not give you the answers but also discuss the answers. Let's begin with the question number one. Question number one. Which narrative poem by Lord Tennyson presents the story of a fisherman turned merchant sailor who after a shipwreck is marooned on a desert island? Lord Tennyson. You must have read many poems by Lord Tennyson. He was the poet laureate when he wrote this particular poem. The, answer, the correct answer is Enoch Arden, which was written in 1864 and it resembles somewhat like Robinson Crusoe. The sailor uh, who was a fisherman initially turns to a merchant sailor and then he leaves his family and children just to give them a good life. Just for the sake of his family, he leaves them to earn more and then he's abandoned in the sea. He returns after 10 years, but then he sees that his wife is happily remarried to his friend so he doesn't tell them that he's alive he doesn't want to destroy their happiness once again so the correct answer is Enoch Arden question number two in memorial verses Arnold pays tribute to three great works who are they three great poets whom Arnold pays tribute are Goethe, Wordsworth and Lord Byron uh, this is a very common poem and is asked in many syllabus. So, uh, question number three. Who among the following English playwrights wrote screenplays on uh, novels such as Marcel Proust, In Search of Lost Time, John Fowles, French Lieutenant's Woman and Margaret Atwood's Handmaid's Tale? The correct answer of this question is Harold Pinter. He wrote the screenplays for all the movies of the uh, above mentioned uh, plays or novels. Uh, Harold Pinter, he got Nobel Prize in 2005. He died very recently in 2008. Uh, his Nobel Prize was very late in coming. He is the author of The Caretaker, The Birthday Party, which you have, must have started with your masters. Question number fourth. The years in English literary history between 1649 and 1660 are known as... This is a very good question and very easy one. If you have read history thoroughly, you can easily uh, find out the answer. And the answer is the Commonwealth period. Charles I was taken in custody, the trial, and then his execution, and then uh, Cromwell, Oliver Cromwell, he took the parliament in his hand, but his successors were proved weak. So in 1660, Charles II was restored. Therefore, the restoration period of the new classics. So the correct answer here is uh, the Commonwealth period. Question number fifth. In R.K. Narayan's uh, Swami and Friends, which game offers Swami the best kind of emotional release from the strains and pressures of disagreeable circumstances? So he was in love with uh, cricket. The correct answer is cricket. And every Sunday, uh, the boys in the colony used to have matches. So this Swami and his friends uh, and uh, some more novels are written in a fictional town describing Malgudi, written by R.K. Narayan. Question number six. William Blake expressed the importance of the particular 
When he said that, to generalize, it's to be dash, that is an edit. To particularize is the alone distinction of merit. Fill in the blanks. So, the correct answer is an edit. Oh, William Blake, uh, he said that if you come in the general, like you are like any other person on this planet, you are an idiot. And if you are different from the others, that is particular. And he says that general knowledge is passed by the idiots only. So the correct answer is an idiot. Next question. Which of the following was not a dialect of Old English? This is a very easy question. There's an answer written here itself. Irish. Irish is not the Old English language. The other three, of course, Northern Brian and Marcian and Kentish, they are the uh, correct answers. These three are the dialects of Old English. They were spoken. Next question. Anthony Burgess, last novel published in 1993, is called The Dead Man in Depth Form. Who is the central character to whom the title refers? Answer is Christopher Marlowe. So uh, here he's mentioned as Kit Marlowe. And Kit Marlowe is, of course, from Cambridge University. And the life and character of Kit Marlowe is discussed by Anthony Burgess. Next question. Now, this is a long question. Choose the correct chronological order. Very, very easy. Because, you know, first of all, you can easily, like, you can easily choose from all the four choices that William Caxton prints the first English book, Total Miscellany. You know, just after the Renaissance, when Caxton's, uh, during the time of Renaissance, I should say, uh, Caxton invented a uh, printing press and he you know, publishes Total Miscellany which was written by Surrey and White and this particular uh, volume is said to be the very first, vo first volume of the Renaissance period and then of course William Shakespeare's first volume and then John Milton's Aerophagetica. Aerophagetica that is against the banning of the printing press. Next question. Tenth, what does the phrase at pictura poises from Horace's art of poetry mean? You must have studied arts poetica from Horace, and this means that as in painting, so in poetry. Means painting became a game first, so whatever happens in painting, the emotions, same in poetry. So he's comparing painting to poetry. Question number 11. Who among the following is the author of account of the Augustan Age in England, 1759? The correct answer is Oliver Goldsmith. And in this volume, Augustan uh, Age, he relates it to the Queen Anne's uh, rule. Uh, and the main poet of Augustan Age is, of course, Alexander Pope. So he gives the complete detail of the Augustan age because at that time the Roman classics were talked more, the Roman culture and people were imitating the same. Even the writers were trying to translate all the epics written by uh, Virgil and other people of the real Augustan age of Rome. Next question. So in how many parts did Cervantes publish his novel? Don Kicksaw. Nice. Miguel T. Cervantes was a Spanish writer and uh, Don Kicksaw is a very famous classic from him. Uh, I think we had studied the story in 7th standard from our rapid readers and during my recent visit from Spain I even got the you know the statue of Sancho Panza and uh, Don Kicksaw. So it was in two parts and uh, both the parts were uh, published uh, uh, in the period of 10 years, 1605 to 1650. Question number 13. Lytton stretches eminent Victorians, uh, carries biographical sketches of writers of public figures. Identify the list 
that correctly mentions those eminent Victorians. So, uh, Lytton Strachey was one of the members of the Bloomsbury group and uh, this work was published in 1918 and the correct answer is first because there were three men and one woman uh, discussed as eminent Victorians and that is Cardinal Manning, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Arnold and General Gordon. Next question. One of the following statements about the eponymous saint of Trident's Song of St. Cecilia. Again, the good question and an easy one. Of course, St. Cecilia was Roman. He, she was uh, a Christian uh, from the Christian faith and she, of course, invented the, uh, this uh, organ. She was a very good singer and it seemed as if the voice came out from some goddess and when once she was singing an angel, you know, he appeared on earth uh, thinking of it as heaven. So this heavenly music, which has come from the heaven, which has made this world, this, uh, all this is given in an ode to St. Cecilia. So the correct answer is second. That means this is not the correct of the following. Question number 15. Which of the statement on Michael Roberts favor book of modern works is not true. Oh, this is quite absurd, you know. This is uh, a poetry anthology and the first edition was made by Michael Roberts in 1936 and the, of course the company, uh, the publishing uh, house was Faber and Faber and uh, then again there was a second edition. It was uh, by Anne Bridler in 1951 and then again the third one was in 1965 by Donald Hall. So the poems which were published after 1910 were taken into consideration. So of course Hopkins was taken in. So the one which is incorrect, which is not true of the following is the collection begins with the poems of Robert Bridges. Second one is incorrect or the correct answer for you. Question number 16. Who among the following proposed that the first Gulf War had never taken place in it was simply a Hyperial media generated spectacle? So the correct answer is Jean Baudrillard and he was a French theorist. Uh, uh, you should say that he is the father of the French modern postmodern theory. He tried to evaluate the society which has now no gender issues or no race, no society, nothing like that. And he was the one who said that because he was trying to evaluate the society in general. So he wrote the three volumes, the, Gul the Gulf War will never happen, the Gulf War is never happening, and the Gulf War did not happen. Next question. Sir Thomas Brown's urn burial was prompted by so the correct answer here is the discovery of ancient burial urns near Norwich. The other title of the this work is Hydrotrephia and it was written in 1658. It is, of, it is in two parts. The first part is of course Hydrotrephia or urn burial. The second one is the Garden of Cyrus. So uh, this considers the, the countryside or the land in England called Norfolk and uh, it is very it is a sublime rhetoric so the correct answer is that Norwich one next question identify from among the following list those that cannot be called war fiction modern instance catch 22 age of innocence and the naked and the dead Joseph Heller wrote catch 22 in 1953 which was published in 1961 it is uh, in third person narrative, of course, the background being World War II, so this, and I told you the other one was, uh, the ba it was based on the experiences of the writer Norman Mailer, and it was written in 1948, uh, and he belonged to the 112th Cavalry Regiment. There's a movie also made, and uh, this particular book comes in 100 uh, most popular books written in English. And the other two are very uh, simple ones. 
the first one is The Modern Instance. It is a realistic novel by Dean Howells, 1882. He's an American writer. And this is about love, marriage, grief, divorce, etc. And the uh, other one, The Age of Innocence. That means the answer would be A and C because they are asking which one are not war fiction. The Age of Innocence is written by Edith Wharton in 1920. She got the Pulitzer Prize and she was the first woman to get Pulitzer Prize. So the correct answer is uh, a modern instance and the Age of Innocence. Question number 19. Who among the following writers was not the one identified with the movement of the 1950s England. So, uh, the movement of the 1950s is called, is also called angry decade. People are really frustrated and angry. So, of course, the, uh, the writers like Kingsley and Ellis, he was called as the angry young man. And of course, Philip Larkin and Donald Davy, they all belong to the movement poet. The correct answer is Roy Fuller, who was not from this movement. Of course, he was somewhere here only, but he did not write in the same manner. Question number 20. Which of the following novels does not belong to the Nuruddin Farha's book in the Sun Triology? Nuruddin Farha is a Somali writer. And then he shifted to many countries, including US and many African countries. Uh, England also, he came to India also, so his work is diaspora and in nature. So the three uh, trilogy, the names of the trilogies are, the first one is Maps, Gifts and Secrets, of course. But he wrote another set of trilogy. Uh, in this, this uh, Knots is included as the second book. He were like this, Links, Knots and Crossbones. And the complete uh, trilogy was known as Past Imperfect Trilogy. Next question. In the following series, which one has all the poets correctly matched with their poems? Very easy. You have read all the poems in your Masters or Bachelors. Musical, of course, Poet, Lover, Word Watcher, Ramanujan, Small Scale Reflections on a Great House. Uh, Torudat Akhesurina Tree and Mahapatra Sunset at Puri. So the correct answer is fourth. Question number 22. From among the following, identify the incorrect observation regarding Ferdinand de Saussure's seminal distinction between Lang and Perol. Please go and watch my videos on linguistics as well as uh, on reader response theory and you'll find the answer there. The correct answer is the first choice. Parole is a particular language system, the elements of which we learn as children and which is codified in our grammars and dictionaries, whereas Lang is the language education. All the details of the language and linguistics you will find in my linguistic videos. Uh, love what is Lang, Parole and uh, all the, the, thing, the studies of uh, Saussure and others you will find in reader response theory, that is the critical theory video. Next. Question number 23. John Haywood wrote a fictional interlude called the Four Ps. Who were the Four Ps? So the answer is a farmer, a partner, a potkari, and a peddler. Nothing to explain here. Question number 24. In the mechanical drill method of second language acquisition, when you learn the second language, if you are mechanically cramming up the sentence then what will happen the learner has the freedom to choose from many responses no not at all he cannot choose the learner's response is totally controlled of course he cannot choose his responses are controlled if he has to say yes he has to say just yes or sit down or what is your name my name is this so the drills are very mechanical in nature so be one and then the comprehension of the item of the learner is not required of course it is required, but in the drills it is not required. It is not required. So the correct answer is B and C. Let's read the fourth choice also. Comprehension of the item by the learner is obligatory. Oh no, they do not understand any meanings. They don't comprehend. They are not given the choices to respond. Mm -hmm. And I have completed 24 questions here. 
uh, I think uh, you, most of the questions must be right and you must have understood the answers as well. So uh, please respond, give your responses uh, by commenting and liking the video. I would be coming with uh, the other parts as well and uh, 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 we are start beginning new batches for UGC net exam. So you are most invited. Here we do syllabus with each and every student. We give individualized attention to every student here and if you are really passionate and if you have this aim to crack this exam, please do come once to Jaipur and join Miracle. So please like, comment, share and subscribe this video. Uh, give your responses as well. I'm waiting for them and I would be uh, very soon meeting you with you again. So take care. Bye-bye.